If you're just starting to learn to sing, then this video is for you. Singing exercises are a necessary part of your development, but they don't need to be complex to get great results. In this video, I'm going to show you three beginner singing exercises that will get you started on your journey of learning to sing. Sound check. Check one, check two. Hi there, my name is Dr. Dan and I'm a contemporary singing voice specialist. Welcome to Voice Essentials where everybody sings. At last count, there were nearly 12 million learn to sing videos on YouTube. With so much instruction to choose from, it can be hard to know where to start. So I designed this video to get you going. The exercises that we are going to do together are simple and can be done at home by virtually everyone and that includes you. But don't let the simplicity of these activities fool you into thinking they're not important. We can run the risk of thinking that the more advanced singing exercises are better. And while some singing exercises are complex by design, that doesn't mean that simpler exercises don't offer great value to the beginner singer. So let's dive in. The first activity is a five note scale. Now let me show you the scale when sung along with my exercise CD, Dr. Dan's Voice Essentials. And a heads up, the first track is free to download via the links in the description section below. As I do the activity, I want you to notice that I am not driving the voice too hard. I'm keeping my jaw relatively neutral and my tongue remains forward in behind my bottom front teeth. Yeah, yeah. note scale helps the beginner voice to start connecting notes together in a melodic fashion. The range of this five note scale is only over a perfect fifth, each phrase relatively contained and easy to negotiate. So too with the next activity, the three note scale. This beginner exercise still only covers the range of a perfect fifth, but it's slightly more challenging because it requires the voice to make larger melodic steps have a listen. When you practice the exercise, work towards keeping the voice free as the scale moves upwards. Also, try to note the physical difference between the three note and five note versions. It can be surprising how the difficulty increases just with the removal of two notes. Sound check. The third exercise we are going to cover today is an arpeggio. The first activities only included the range of a perfect fifth. The arpeggio will have us singing over the range of an octave. Have a listen. Yeah. of you this might start off as rather challenging and that's okay it may take you some weeks and months to master the exercise and when you practice be sure to manage your physical response this exercise more so than the first two will tempt your instrument to get tight and constricted you might also want to push more air through the voice as each phrase gets higher and higher it'll take some practice but work on keeping your air balanced and maintain a nice symmetry to your alignment. Don't let your neck jut forward or lean to the side. Again, you can download the exercises we've covered today and many others besides from my website via the link in the description section below. The benefit of the three exercises we've covered today is the inbuilt training of the laryngeal muscles and how your overall instrument, your entire body, sings through the scales. Then when you come to sing through a song, your voice is more able to better apply balance to the melody and negotiate each phrase with greater ease. I have many other learn to sing videos on my channel, Dr. Dan's Voice Essentials. 
that I think you'll find helpful when learning to sing. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe to the channel where you'll have access to new videos every week. I'll see you again soon. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.